Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. We're on episode 26 and in the last one I said I would do some more Thumbcrafty stuff. Oh yes. And I can now claim this reward. Let's see, what do we get? A greater bag. Tell me it's Thumbcrafty. Wow. Not very useful. Well, it's protection. Okay. Um, Yeah, it's protection, but... Store it in there for now. What is the next step? I need to study magic. For that, I need to make a table. Take a look at table. That's easy enough. Thermometer? Can we make that? Well... Any two shards should do. And we can claim the reward. The greater bag. Thank you. A spiked pick. Uh, no. Not very good. Wands of power. I need to make a focus pouch and a gold cap. So now we actually do need to start doing some research. And uh, I suppose... I start looking at stuff. You do not have the knowledge. Well, I suppose stone is something I should have knowledge of. Yes. Dirt. Excellent. Now, this is going to be a long part. Oh. I need a shovel. I haven't made one since I lost my last one. And I'm just putting this away... Because it was doing some weird glitchy stuff there. Hmm. Odd. You see it's glitching down by the legs? Oh well. It doesn't really matter. So, uh, with all these shards and stuff, um, I should be putting that in this chest with the other bomb crafty stuff. Earth and fire infused stuff. This one is fortune one. Can I increase? I know that it does increase by itself, but... Yeah, we have the lapis, don't we? Oh, yeah. We do have the lapis, so let's make... Um, do like this. I want to have luck up to maximum. And be right back. And 450, which is fortune 3. Excellent. Now, let's clear this, get the lapis block. There we go. The reason I want this is that, uh, well, these can drop more. So... I got one. Hmm. I got one. Seriously? Oh well. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to do some serious work on this one. I need a gold cap, but the focus pouch, um, what do I need for that one? Well, I do need to research, um, with alchemy? No? Artifice? No? Not Golemancy. Well, I think I'll have to spend some time researching. That I will do between episodes because, frankly, that takes just so long. Yeah, I need an enchanted fabric and the goggles of re revealing and... Salis Mundus. I don't know. Arcane stone we should probably make um, because we need to build stuff with this. Yeah, we need to build a workbench with this. And we also need to make a research table and an arcane table or an arcane work table. But that's something I had to set up. Item grades. Hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of research to be done. But 
that is something I will spend a lot of time doing off camera for you guys because yeah it's gonna take forever <laughs> one focus is really good though wow um base I was looking at setting up some form of automation on these bees because well they're all nice and stuff but uh, you know they take up quite a lot of space like this oh another cultivated one And, yeah, I'm curious, what do cultivated one produce? That's just honeycombs. Okay, so breeding-wise, we need to aim for the noble ones. So, I am going to set up one of these to be cul oh, cultivated plus common. Noble. I think that's what we want to do. We need diligent, we have. And wary. Actually, farm would be nice, but I don't know if I can get that one. Cultivated mystical, no. Um, cultivated valiant for an excited, no. Um, Noble. Noble can then be bred into Imperial, uh, Emerald, Primable. Well, the Imperial is what I'm going to go for. So Majestic is the step. Noble cultivated is Majestic. So Noble first. Cultivated common. Cultivated common. Noble. And I'm doing the bee breeding manually. So we're going to take out all these. Actually, I'm gonna have to let this one run first. Let's uh, do that. Turn off the automation. We can put away all the drones. I need to make sure that I have two purebred ones. I do have honey in there, so let's get a... The cultivated princess and the common drone there. This is a pure cultivated. Nothing odd. Two fertility. This is the same. No, this is actually not. It's not pure. You have common somewhere. These look common. This is a common common. Now these two I can breed. To make a. Possibly. Noble one. I'm just gonna have to wait for this to finish, so be right back in a moment. And while waiting for everything to cook up in the B department there, I figured we'll get a bit closer on this. It's gonna be loud. Let me take that spawn pearl out for now, just to save your poor ears. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the liquid mob for the mob essence and select task. Um, there we go. Liquid mobs bound to this one. If I now put that on, tell that one to extract on redstone. And now we take a look here. 6%, 8%. This one is dropping fairly quickly, but I think we have enough. I hope so. Because that's two hearts for green goo. That's kind of easy. Biofuel. Hmm. Cryothium, liquid DNA, we can make that eventually. Ethanol, destabilized redstone, 50 buckets of it. Hmm. A lot of honey, we can do that. How's it looking? Oh, we made it. Oh, and should probably have turned that one off. Oh, this is scary. Okay, now let's turn that one in and see what we get. Um... That reward bag. An epic reward bag. Now tell me this is epic. Magma cream, brewing stand, gas tier fermented. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. The magma cream saves up. The gas tier is excellent. Fermented spider eye. Sure. Why not? Now, let's do the honey while we're doing this. 
definitely have enough of that. So, sticky situation, honey. That's just a hundred buckets. Not sure I can do that, but we'll try. Um, let's make sure that we have that selected and stick a situation. Now I'm going to wait for this one to finish. So we don't end up using up a lot more. We're completing a lot of quests today, aren't we? I like it. So 60 buckets and we're not even halfway on our tank there. That's excellent. I wonder... There we go. It did turn off. Well, it didn't turn off, but it's... Uh... So let's uh, claim that one. Another epic one. For now, let's uh, take these hearts. 30 lives, hooray! And the epic bag is... Apiarist set. Very nice. This is actually very nice indeed. We will now be protected against all the bad bees. Um, remind me to make a... Apiarist, can I... I set this up with milk. Yeah, of course I can set this up with milk. Um, that will be very useful for us. Oh, I forgot the QDS, didn't I? I did. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, we got the apiarist one, which is a very nice and... It will come in handy, for sure, when we start working with the big bees uh, that uh, hurt. They should protect you from pretty much anything that has to do with that. So, let's select this task, put it there, and plop. This is gonna be a lot of milk, but the milker, the rancher, will work for quite some time here. That's actually 16,000 buckets. That's some seriously strong bones. Is it moving? Anything? Yes, it is. Look, it's one bucket a tick. So that's... How many? Um... That's about four hours at this rate. In order to complete this quest within your lifetime, automation will be required. No, you don't say. Well, actually, yeah, this is going to take forever. We'll have to come back and look at it. Uh, we don't really need it, so... Uh, we also need to make a lot of sewage. Lots of fluid protein. How do you make that? Ethanol, we can start working on. Okay, so do have some of the go-with-the-flow ones done there. Bragging rights. I could probably get that one. Could get these done as well. Tiny TNT. I need to make an enemy chest and spatial storage and oh, jeez. That's a lot. Mine factory reload and all the machines that you don't use. The passenger rails and just one of everything. Vine, wine or vine scaffolding. Wine scaffolding? What was that? What's that? Oh, interior decorator. Okay, I made lapis bricks. Colored wood planks. Disc rack. Hm. Actually, disc rack? How do you make that? It's just sticks. How's that coming along? Okay, not even 1%. So, yeah, we'll leave that one running. And home we go. Yeah, so I'm going to dump all this good stuff in here. I will make an armor stand. That we'll put over by the bees. 
Um, we'll be there. And in here we'll put the apiarist suit so we can wear that. And how's this one going? Still cultivated. And it's now a common one. I don't want that, I want the other one. So we need to start doing this and I can't automate this because, you know, these. They're a bit of a pain. Can I do any other quests? I should probably start working on steel power, but um, I want to set up automation for toast, toasty bread, and I can do that since we are making a lot of wheat here. I can set up some form of auto crafting system here, which will we'll need a cyclic. Assembler. A cyclic assembler and a furnace. I can make that. We have that one. The furnace. Can I make bricks? Yes. And we'll need a machine block. Furnace. Oh, we're just missing the redstone coil. Right. The cyclic assembly, we're also going to need a schematic for that one. I was thinking, don't I have... Yeah, I have a lot of discs. Back to the bees, actually to the kitchen, which will be closer. Doesn't really matter. I will set it up here. The cyclic assembler will need power, which we can get from below. And the cyclic assembler will want to have the wheat. But we'll worry about that in a bit. That one and then a barrel. So we're gonna need some servos. We're going to need some... Is there a better way to make bread? It can be made by smelting dough, but dough is salt and water. This is cooler. Um, I have this partly set up here. These two guys already makes everything. It makes water and it makes salt. So if I borrow these... Like so, we're going to need an Accus Accumulator. Might need a bit more space here, but yeah, definitely. Um, this one will be using a blank schematic with... Um, wheat flowers... Um, That's mortar, mortar and pestle for one wheat. Don't I have one of those? Yes, I do. Oh. That's an easy one to make as well, because we're going to need a manual one, I suppose. We'll get some wheat. We need to configure this one. It's wheat with that. And I put that in, and that in, and that should be en enough. The wheat will then go into a cyclic assembler that will make everything. So it will be salt, it will be water, it will be... Uh, oh, I need to make that. Over to the kitchen. Because we need some conduits. Yeah, just normal ones. And this one is dragging out a bit. Sorry about that. But I do 
hope you enjoy me doing a little bit of building and crafting and stuff on camera. I think it's pretty fun to do every once in a while. And this is not working out. Uh, let me go downstairs. Where's that all going? Oh! It's coming down here? Now I'm confused. It's coming down there. Okay. Um, let's do it like this. There we go. Oh, dear. We need to get out of this place. Hunger is bad. Very bad. Okay. Um, hover off. Ooh, jump, jump. Now this one is getting power. And it should already have made that flower. So. Uh, blank schematic. Actually, that one doesn't go there. That one goes there. With water. Salt. Flour and a pot. Oh, it's a mixing bowl. Mixing... Mixing... Bowl. Mixing bowl, salt, water, flour, mixed dough. Excellent. Now I will need to set up the other two assemblers. I have one on top and one to the s No, we can't actually have that on top. Because then we can't add power. So they will be here. That's fine. Assembler, assembler. This one is... The water to salt, and this one is to water. And this one can just export their input on top. This one can input on... No, export on top and input on right. So now if I add water to this one, it will automatically work. Um, so... I'm gonna turn you one around. Now this one is the one doing the job, making the dough. Let's turn it around. If I make that one the output. Okay. So now it's going to be input on both sides. Output on back. This one does not need input on any side, but actually this one can turn around. I'm talking to myself and uh, this episode is running a bit long. There we go. Input, output. Input on both sides, input on both sides, and this one also needs to input on top. Um, I need item ducts, and I need a whole bunch of stuff, so... I also need some covers. I use just stone ones. We should get some more servos. And I need an Accus accumulator. I need water. Let's get one water. Uh, the fluid ducts should feed like 
there. And there. The item ducts. Are you getting power? Yes. Item ducts need to be cut off here with covers. So, aim there because I need to. Oh. There we go. Output on top. And this is where I want to put the Accus accumulator. Actually, I can put it there. And how do we do this? I need a block of some sort. Um, some wood blocks. Yeah, I figured. I'll do the rest of this on camera just because, you know, it's cool. It's fun to build on camera as well. What happens if I pour water here now? Yeah, it will go out there, but not if I do this. And Accus Accumulator, you are go. This one is filling up. And it will need a pot. This one needs what? Nothing. And it's just feeding this one. So we got water and salt. And a mixing bowl here. Now if I were to add a whole bunch of wheat to this one. It made dough. Excellent. Now I just need power to this one. Which I will put... There. Redstone furnace. Input on the behind. Output to the side. Now all the dough is going to go into this to get smelted up. Now we need another furnace. Because... This needs to be smelted one more time to make toast. That's fine. But we have this automation set up now. There's just one more furnace. Can I make two more bricks? Yes. What more do I need for the furnace? I need one of you, for sure. That's all. And looked like I broke something more down there. Not sure. And it's making toast. Now I just need to set this at a servo and tell it that. Only wheat is allowed to go in here. And make this one vacuum. So as soon as the wheat can be harvested, it will go in there. Sounds good. We're making toast. And that's going to be it for this episode because I am way over time here. I'll make a barrel for the toast. We'll get some... Uh, structural upgrades. It's just 10,000, right? Just. <laughs> yeah, it's 10,000. How are we doing on this one? 6%. Hooray! Peace.
I hear a spider. Where? Where is that spider? Where are you, Spidey? Let's show the map. I think it fell off. Okay. Anyhow, guys. 26 bread. If I put in... This one. This one. Well, we can now go to 16,000 toast. That's fine with me. So, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye. Moo? Moo? Moo.